I'll just draw you a little diagram here. It shows you a model of how our mind works as the way that the hypnotist understands it. And I think that'll make it a lot clearer for you. Here's a model of the mind as the hypnotist sees it. And there's at least three parts of our mind. You've heard of them all before, but it's just how do we define them and how do they interrelate with each other? And of course, there's an unconscious part of your mind. When you and I are born, our hearts are beating, digestive systems are working and so forth. That's all ultimately under the control of your unconscious mind. We call that the autonomic nervous system. So that means that when people come to see me for, as they have chronic pain or IBS, uh, fibromyalgia or so forth, it means that we can access that part of the mind that is actually controlling those physical uh, systems. And of course you have another part of your mind, the conscious part of your mind. And all that is, is the, the part of your mind that you're using to focus on your awareness on at any one given point. And there's a couple of interesting things you need to know about your conscious mind. One is it has a very limited um, processing capacity. We've known since the 1950s that you can only have basically seven bits of information in conscious mind at any one particular time. So that means that if I give you a new phone number with an area code and you look out of the window and you say, look at those geese, then you come back and say, well, what's the area code? That was the eighth bit of information. The other important thing is that your conscious mind is the part of mind you're using whenever you're analyzing or evaluating or weighing up the pros or cons of any situation. It's what we think of as the rational side of our mind. It works like this, A plus B equals C. It can't, the rational mind cannot accept that it could equal C, G, and Z at the same time.